Hello guys and welcome back to the Azimods community. Today we're going to be showing off the new keybinds feature. So as you can probably already see, it looks a bit different over here. There's a bunch of add keybind options. So I'm just testing this out in Clone Drone and the Danger Zone. This does actually work for other games as well. It works for Cost Truck, all the other games we have like Feed and Grow and everything. But just for the sake of ease, I'm using Clone Drone and the Danger Zone today. So let's go ahead and add a keybind to see what that process looks like. So I want to be able to edit my movement speed here. It's currently set to 20. So I'm going to go add keybind. We can set the value, increase the value, or decrease the value. I'm going to try increase the value by 100 every time I press the 1 key. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to add another one. Decrease by, you guessed it, 100 when I press the 2 key. So now if I press the 1 key, it's going to go up by 100. If I press the 2 key, it's going to go down by 100. So if we go into game really quick, this is my normal movement speed. That's after I press the button. And then if I press it again, the opposite button, it goes really slow. So I can go really fast, really slow, really fast, really slow. So as you can see, it's probably pretty useful, isn't it? Now remember guys, I can actually press this button twice. So I can go slow, press it once, press it twice, press it three times. I'm basically going uncontrollably fast now. So you can press it as many times as you want. If I press the number two when I'm already walking slow, press it again, I actually start walking backwards because my speed goes negative, which is quite interesting. Okay guys, we're back in the Moz Launcher here. So as you can see, we have a create clone button here. If we want to go ahead and add a binding, we can just cause a trigger. And every time I'm going to press, how about we press number three, just for ease of uh, use. So every time I press three, it's going to go ahead and create a clone for me. Let's just test that out for a second. I'm in game. Three, two, one. Oh, it works. I can press it a few, a few times like that. There you go. We've got many, many, many clones. That's pretty cool if you don't if you don't say so myself. <laughs> okay, so we also have a few other things here like infinite energy, unlock all skills, and 360 deflection. So I'm going to turn on unlock all skills. Uh, there's a turn on, there's a turn off, and there's a toggle. So I'm going to use toggle uh, number four. So if I press number four, it's going to toggle between unlock all skills and not. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, if we go ahead and buy some of these. One second, guys. Uh, as you can see, these are kind of locked, aren't they? So press number four. Oh, we're out of skill points as well. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we don't have any skill points, so I'm going to add a binding. Increase value by one every time we press number five. How about that? So let's go back into the game. I'm pressing number five. As you can see, my skill points are rising. And if I press number four, I might have to exit this menu. Okay, I pressed number four. Now these uh, skills are all unlocked. So there we go. We have every single skill unlocked. Yep, that works. That's just being a bit weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got every skill, guys. Uh, we're, out of, we're out of points here. That's okay. We don't have to alt tab or anything. We don't have to go back. All we have to do is press that number five, that little keybind here. As you can see, we can buy everything. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Clone created. Okay, guys, there is one thing we want to note here. So for the input energy bar, we're going to go add a new keybind. Um, toggle option, sure. I'm going to go ahead and set it to my numpad. So if I press numpad 9, for example, it's going to come up with 9 there. Uh, if we go back into game and I press my numpad 9, it doesn't do anything. That is because the numpad doesn't actually work at the moment. So if you want to set a, a bind, if you press number 9 on your numpad, it's actually going to only work on number 9 on your keyboard. So now I have unlimited energy. I have to press 9 on my keyboard. So at the moment, avoid using the numpad to set binds as it is kind of broken. So don't do that. Okay, guys, we got super speed here. Here we go. We instantly shoot them and run away. It's pretty damn cool. Remember, guys, this mod is available for free for download from beta.asmods.com. So if you'd like to check it out, link is in the video description. If you'd like to be a member, there's also a link to our Patreon and our members page in the description as well. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next modded video.